Welcome back guys, I'm PC Outcast and this is more of the pure alchemy build with Ordinator specifically. So we are currently at level 8, just about to gain another level, we're 50 in alchemy and, uh, and we could pick up stimulants and head towards Crimson Haze just so that when we have an active beneficial potion on we get a little bit of boost to our movement speed. That's that's one option. Everything else is level 60 or higher. All right, so we got the Minad, or Maynad, something like that. Magic and stamina increased while under the effects of a beneficial, beneficial po uh, potion. That is not really that useful for us. I mean, the stamina is kind of nice, but... Uh, Green Thumb is also 60, and Alchemist Cookbook is also 60. So that's pretty much where we are at right now. I uh, sold all of the loot that we got in Ember Shard and now we're going to do a little bit of shopping. Excuse me. You're Hello. A traveler, Hello. Correct? Have you been to White Run? Yes, I have. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into I haven't heard from her lately. Um I've tried talking to I haven't met her, but I could try getting more information. Oh, I'm just wondering if maybe doing Anything her quest she'll, she'll allow us to take some stuff. Would be let's, let's try that. Um not not that one. one. Me next time you need herbs and potions. In the off chance that he maybe or that she maybe gives us some free ingredients, we'll just take it. I mean, we're we're starting to get to that rich stage anyway, so I don't think it's that big of a deal, but whatever. Every free bit helps. Yes. Generally posting information is need to know only. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Um if you want to know that bad. <laughs> the daughter was sent to White World. He sent out a Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Maybe you should have told her. Staying safe, I hope. All I had to do is intimidate him. Intimidate the captain of the guard of solitude. Mm hmm And we gained a level. That's nice. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you're looking for potions. Got some bad news. You got Aldous to tell you something. I she just would it was brave of you to come to me with this. You look like an adventurous one. I can't. I bet we're kindred it, spirits, you and I. But you have done me a service. Mm, really? You were there for Rogbeer's execution. Okay. Thank you for helping my aunt. Um I'll ah, see you around. Canis root, nice. Rock warbler egg. Blister wart. Um, and basically take this stuff and sell it back to her. Is there something I can do for you? Well, when you put it like that. Hmm. Oh yeah, basically gonna just completely and utterly clean her out of all her fucking grab the stuff I don't think it doesn't say that it's stealing but I'm a little bit nervous about that okay could you check out supplies of mandrake root don't take the stuff that she is not giving us that looks like an ugly little man in that case I'm pretty sure it tried to buy me a drink last night Frostbite Venom, totally useless, but we will sell it, I guess. Stop pushing me. Whoever's pushing me. If you're looking for potions, you should talk to my aunt, Angeline Morard. Uh, that's what I'm here for, sort of. I'm about to sell her a bunch of her own things. But thank you for the recommendation. Okay, I think that's most of it. The rest of the stuff is not free for the taking. I do like this mod. Thanks for suggesting it, guys. This is um, awesome potions. 
that changes all the the look of all the potions. We can take that one. She just had that as like some decoration, I guess. Snowberries. Literally just going through her whole house, robbing her blind. What, what's this? No. Yes. Sorry to bring you some bad news about your daughter. She's dead, but um, I'm just going to take everything that you own. I can take that. Whoa. Okay, then. I guess I can take that. She seems to be okay with that. Hello. Thank you so much for your generosity. Got a nice place here. You know, I don't think I've ever really been upstairs here before. Um, no. No. I'm not gonna look into every cabinet and thing. Uh, ooh, more garlic. But uh, mountain flower and coarse eggs, hagraven claw and feathers, and another claw. What is she doing with all those claws? I mean, they are alchemical ingredients, but... I'm not going to break into her strong box. Take the lavender and... I hope... So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Uh, sort of. What can you buy from me? Like, all the things I just took from you. <laughs> Uh, um, 30 for Elves' Ear, really. Other than maybe the Fortify Archery, I don't think it'd be worth it, to be perfectly honest. Okay, that's good for right now. Let's do, excuse me. Thank you, I'm done robbing you. So you can move out of the way now. And, wait, did I miss? Elves' Ear. Free Elves' Ear I'll take. Purchased Elves' Ear. Not so much. Okay. Oh, this is not the upgraded one. Mm -hmm. I should probably go and do the upgraded one. That was back... I gotta try and remember where which one I upgraded. I think it's the one at um, Arcadia's. I definitely need my own place. I've got all sorts of evidence, John. Let's also just grab a few things that are around here. Free. All free for the taking. And, you know, it's pure profit when you make it from these things. Not that these po these um, ingredients make particularly valuable potions, but pardon me. Pardon me. Out of the way, sir. Child coming through. And that would be stealing. We're not going to do that. Okay. Good enough. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink Well, excuse me. I wasn't doing that, but um yeah. Okay, so I don't know um I'm level 8. Well, actually, we leveled up. Level 9. Um but the courier hasn't appeared. Courier should have brought us the letter from the Jarl of Falkreath. I don't know why he hasn't. Hmm. Oh, right. I'm gonna go back to uh, White Run and do it there so it's an extra 25% more powerful or something. And who knows? Maybe the. Uh, 
courier, courier will show up. Not sure what's keeping him. I'm probably missing something like super obvious like, oh, you have to do the thing first. The whatever random thing. Now, is this the upgraded one? How do I tell? Hmm. Is it not upgraded? Did I maybe not have enough gold? I thought I did upgrade one of them. Huh. If there's anything I can help, I don't know. You have but to ask. All right, let's see. Um, we can do fear. That's interesting. Creatures and people up to level eleven will flee. Um. Oh, did I? Before I do that, did I get any ingredients I that I don't know? Oh, there you go. Hey, Graven. And salmon row. I don't want to do that. Just because it's so rare. Okay, and I did get another garlic. Do I also have... I have Nordic barna barnacle too, so we can do one more of those. Do garlic... Nordic Barnacle and the last um row. There we go. Wa breathe underwater for six thousand three hundred seconds. Health regenerates sixty-six percent faster for forty-five thousand forty-five hundred seconds. Magicka regenerates faster for forty-five hundred seconds. Well, I gave us an entire level. Almost two levels. Nice. Frenzy. How powerful. Up to level 11, but it only lasts for 10 seconds. Really too bad. If there's anything I can help. Lingering damage health. 10 points. Or sorry, 11 points, 11 points. Okay, can I also pop on paralysis? Uh, that restores health for some reason. There you go. Paralyzed for 11 seconds and takes 11 points of damage per second for 10 seconds. That's really nice. I don't really want to use these right now. I'd like to plant them, but I don't have the house yet. I'm not sure what I'm missing. I thought... Anything I can help hmm, hang on a second. Let me Google that. Um, Jarl's letter, I guess I'll look it up. Letter from Jarl of Falkreath. Is there a prerequisite to this? I know, I know it's usually level 7. Whoops. I think I clicked on add accidentally. Um, delivered by a courier after hearth fire is installed. Receiving this letter allows you to skip the quest Rare Gifts, which is fetching a drink for the Jarl and progress immediately on to the second, killing a Radiant Bandit leader. Well, that's interesting. So if you don't get the, the thing delivered, then you can do rare gifts. Radiant quest. Oh, it's a Radiant quest. So I would have to go to the Jarl and ask if I can basically do anything for him and he'll ask for a drink. 
Oh, that's interesting. I don't know why it's not triggering. But apparently, uh, yeah, I'm gonna not do that right now. I'm gonna go to Falkreath and we're gonna see if we can trigger the Rare Gifts quest instead. Trouble? No trouble. Ran right into that door. Yes, what is it that you want? Uh, do you have any work? You've proven reliable. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had. Oh. The cut they were giving me was good at first. Good. Okay. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. Banner mist. Banner mist. Hmm. Not sure. Hey, you mix. Let me know if you see anything you like. Oh, that by the way, do so you have <laughs> enough gold to buy this very expensive potion from me? No, you don't. That's too bad. I can get some of it. Oh, I could also buy some stuff from her. Uh, that brings her up to 632. Do blister ward as well. And, ooh, we'll take one giant's toe. There you go, now you can buy that from me. Perfect. All right, then. Now, um... Most expensive, I have a list here of, uh, whoops. I think most expensive. There's one of them has uh, the giant's toe. One, okay, so according to uh, the unofficial Elder Scrolls site, uh, the most profitable thing that you can make is bear claw. Well, the most profitable is actually, yes, the one that we did, Salmon Row, Garlic, and Nordic Barnacle. But uh, the ingredients are not easily obtainable from merchants. The next one is Bear Claws, Giant's Toe, and Hanging Moss. That's the most profitable. It's probably not the most expensive potion you can make, but it's the highest profit. 846 gold profit. I don't have, I don't think I have Bear Claws, though. Uh, why do I only have that? Let's go back to that. Bear claws? No. No bear claws. I do have the giant's toe now, and... Oh, I also don't have any hanging moss. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so she doesn't uh, have any of that stuff anyway, so... Alright, let's make some poisons. How powerful of a... Sneak potion can we make now? And we have better than that right now. Frenzy? We try and turn some of them against each other, maybe? Let's try it. We'll do one. Sneak, stamina, frenzy, invisibility. Could do uh, invisibility again, 28 seconds. Um, can you do a poison of fear and fear and uh, and damage health? No. Well, these guys don't. They have, there's Ravage Health, but that's it. Nobody else has Damage Health with that. That's too bad. That'd be kind of cool. If you could have, like, um, 
lingering damage health and fear. That would be like basically as as effective as using um, using uh, paralysis. Yeah, we're really... I don't want to use this. Okay, yeah, there's that. And... Lingering damage health. You guys don't have paralysis. You've got paralysis. Oh, man. I want to hold on to that, man. I want to hold on to it. <laughs> All right, whatever. Make two of those. And pickpocketing is easier, drains a little bit of health. Thirty-two points. Thirty-two points. Reduces movement speed and damages health. 32. 32. Well, this is... We can make, like, several of those. That should be enough to clear that place out. I hope. Now... If I go and pop, say, um, that, and, uh, that, I'll save those. Could do 300 seconds of invisibility, but not, that's not really going to help us very much right now. Okay. Let's see if we can take this place out. So where are these guys? Oh, it's just them? <laughs> this would be like nothing. There's like three of them there. Absolutely nothing. Not an issue at all. So we've got um, Fortify Sneak, 43% harder to, det to detect. We've got extra stamina regeneration, health regeneration. Um, we've got frost resistance, poison resistance. Got all the things. It's a little bit dark. Oh, one thing um, that I forgot to mention to you guys. Oop. Oh, you're de you're detecting me. Well. Well, you're dead now, so there you go. Um, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys, I did respec one thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is the this guy. Are you? There. Yeah, he's going that way. Um, I did respec one thing, and that was um, the oils. So I had originally chosen frost, thinking I'll use it um, with against humanoids or living human type targets uh, to slow them down until I get paralysis poisons, but then I'm like, oh, I don't actually need help killing humanoids. I need help killing undead. So I switched it to fire. So now we can use fire to attempt to deal with undead. We, I think I'll probably end up with hallowed oil as well. I was going to go with paralysis, but a lot, but undead are going to be um, immune to that anyway. Uh, and nothing else really helps us against automatons, sadly. I mean, we can use fire, but that's pretty much... I don't really want to go and try and clear out a place full of uh, dwarven spheres and stuff with nothing but some fire oil. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're dead. And now I don't have any more poisons. So... 
Well, just that should be fine. Okay. And there you go. We didn't even have to use any of our special stuff. Take all of that. Take all of that. Get some light on the subject. Not that this helps all that much, really. Clear him out. Get... Ingredients. I think that there's some uh, imp stool and stuff over here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh boy. Don't suppose I have a lock picking. I have one lock pick. Don't break it. <sighs> yeah. If I had had a potion of lock picking, that'd been nice. I wanted these. A couple of. Imp stools. Cabbage, no. No. Salt pile, yes. No, oh, it's empty. Oop. Missing the stairs, that's well done. Oh, I'll take that. Honeycomb, nice. Nothing there. Oh. Empty, empty, that's not empty. Nope. Yeah, definitely take the salt pile. That stuff's worth it. Scroll of Mayhem is really nice, too. Don't need that. And... Don't know if I checked that one. Okay. Now. Head back to Sid Gear, and hopefully... He'll allow us to buy some land. Of course, we need 5,000 gold for that, so we're going to have to do some more crafting and selling and stuff to get that. Late to be wandering around oh, there he is. I've been You're a little late. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Yeah, we already... Already pretty much did that. So unless he sends us off on another quest... Get out of bed, your highness. Good to see you. Teach them to stay here. You know what? I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. That sounds nice. Anything else you need? There is room in my court for a new fame. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make you. However, I don't you think we'll go for Thane Hood. I'll make you my uh, it would, of course, be an honor. On your way, then. Okay. Well, Come that is an option if we want to help people. But more importantly, uh, we want to talk to the steward, which I believe is going to want to charge us 5,000 gold, if I'm not mistaken. I'm the steward here. There's no house available, but I could okay. sell you yeah, 5,000 gold. Land where you could build your own uh, house. I'm a bit short on that right now. I see. Well, it's possible that the property will oh, still what's be going on with her jaw? The necessary funds. Okay. Hold on to it for me, and uh, we'll figure something out on the money front. We're, we're not too far off. Go and do some, uh, some more crafting over in the... I mean, we have quite a few ingredients. We should be able to wrangle up enough cash to do that, and then we'll have a place where we can grow some things. But we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks very much for joining me, guys. We will see you next time.